Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my third update, I think it is, for my lip products I want to use up in 2022. The beginning of the year, I picked, a, I think it was 22, maybe 23 items, uh, lip products specifically, that I wanted to use up. And every three or four months-ish, I'm trying to update you guys. Um, I don't do this every month because if I don't finish a lip product in the month, it's going to be kind of boring to see a bunch of no progress. So I am very excited because for this update, I finished five out of whatever number I have here. I didn't count. I'm sorry. But I did finish five, so I'm very, very excited. I'm going to start with one that I don't have. And uh, unfortunately, I left this at my mom's house. And it's the um, Stila Stay All Day. A liquid lipstick in the color patina i have um, i've used it up i'm considering it done it doesn't look like it's done but once i put it up against the light you can see like the walls have been kind of like scraped out so i know that it's done um i didn't remove the stopper because i don't like it that much my lips are currently a little bit chapped and i think it's because i've been really using just liquid lipsticks most of the year because i can get use out of those under my mask at work and I don't have to worry about like a regular lipstick that moves around on your lips, you know? So I did use that one up. So that one, unfortunately, I can't have here to show you physically. Hopefully I will have inserted some sort of clip where you guys can see the update. And then the other uh, liquid lipstick that I finished is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the, what is it called? Uh, pure Holo Hollywood liquid lipstick. I guess the color is pure Hollywood. And this is what this looks like. It's very, very nude color. I hope you guys can see, I have cleaned out the sides of the wall of the container. This is not something that the stopper, I don't remove it. And I hope you guys can see, it's been cleaned out fairly well throughout the whole container here. And also hopefully you guys can see, um, I'm gonna try to insert a clip where you guys can see through the container. Uh, but this one is done didn't like it it's not like the formula the color I didn't like it either <laughs> well who am I kidding it made my lips look very gray I guess it just doesn't go with my complexion this is just way too nude for my liking um, so that's that then I finished a third lipstick this one's a regular lipstick it's a mini lipstick from bite beauty and this is in the color uh, brioche brioche and this is what it looks like it's just a little nubbin now but I, it was very easy for me to use. I think this was in a project pan. I think I added it to some project pan. But yeah, I'm all done. I'm all completed. And I'm glad that I got this one out of my collection. Um, Bite has been discontinued. I do have quite a bit of Bite Beauty lip products. So I think this year I've used up three, if I'm not mistaken. So hopefully next year I can, you know, start working on those and get them out. Um, especially because Bite Beauty tends to have more natural ingredients. Then I used up a lip balm. Uh, this is from Sephora. This is the watermelon lip balm. I really enjoyed this lip balm. As you guys can see, I used it all the way up. Once I hit the, the plastic container, that is it. I don't care enough to take the product out of there. I have enough lip products that I need to go through to do that. So that's this one. And the last product that I finished is this lip gloss from Buxom. This is the full on lip cream in the color Dolly. This one I did remove the stopper um, because I like it enough to do so. And as you guys can see, I cleaned everything out. I have a little bit of the bottom there, but I can't reach it with the wand and I don't care enough to get a spatula and scoop that out. I think, I think this is considered used up um, by most people's standards. <laughs> so that's this one. So those are the five that I finished. I currently have only two on rotation just because I was working on that Stila one and I just recently finished it so I haven't brought anything else in. So I need to find something. I need to pick one of the ones that I'm going to show you guys next um, so I can use it in my rotation daily. One that I have progress on is this red lipstick. I don't use it daily and I think that's why it's taking forever. As you guys know, I'm st I work in a hospital. I st still wear a mask at work. So I am not brave enough to wear this under a mask because, you know, things move. Like I've said a thousand times in this video. But anyway, this is the Revolution Lipstick from Urban Decay in the color F-Bomb. And this is how much I have left. I have quite a bit of progress from last update. Unfortunately, the, con the product itself doesn't match the bullet shape of the container. 
no the the product doesn't match the container packaging there you go um so it's gonna be hard like i'm almost touching the side over here but over here i still have a bit left so i'm gonna have to i guess like, apply it this way i don't know we'll see for sure this is gonna be done by the end of the year i am gonna keep wearing it and um hopefully i finish it and the next thing that i have in progress is this lip balm if you guys saw my uh, previous video from this one which was my partners in cream you guys would have seen it already but this is what it's currently looking like from last update I've made from last update to this video uh, I've made a ton of product I've worn out the egg shape and I have kind of started scooping out the inside from this side right here so um, it's a okay lip balm not my best and um, yeah that's it Next, I have all of these lip products that I haven't used. I doubt I'm gonna finish all of them, but we'll see how many more I can get through. So I have one liquid lipstick left out of all the ones I picked out, and it's from Ulta Beauty. It's a very pretty nude color. This is the matte liquid lipstick in the color Scandi, and this only has three ml, so maybe I'll just put this one in my, in my car for my everyday use, and maybe I can finish it up pretty quickly. How much did this one, um, Oh, it doesn't say it gives me ounces not mls oh okay oh my gosh <laughs> these two have the same amount of product <laughs> this one from from ulta and this one from abh have the same amount of product even though this one looks skinnier it looks like it has less but this goes to show that this abh one is mostly packaging how funny um so yeah that's this one i guess i'll give you guys swatches of the ones that i have left over so you guys can see so this is the color um what is it scandy yeah scandy it's a very pretty nudie brown i think it's perfect for the fall yeah i might start wearing this one then i have three actual lipsticks and they're all from urban decay this is the revolution sheer revolution lipstick in the color f bomb it's the sheer version of this current lipstick and it's not as scary that's this one right here it's not as scary and as opaque as this one, but I guess I was pretty either brave or dumb to add two red lipsticks, uh, full-size lipsticks in one project pen. Then the next one is also a Sheer Revolution in the color Sheer Shame. And it's a scary looking color, but once you swatch it again, it's not that deep. It's this shade right here. Very, very pretty. Also, it's gonna be perfect for the fall. And, and I'm excited to start using it. It's kind of um, a sheer shade of uh, Max Rebel. Really, really pretty. Then I have a actual lipstick from the Revolution line. And this is in the color Turn On. This is a regular lipstick formula. So it's more opaque and thicker. And it's this shade right here. Very pretty, pinky, mauve type color. Really, really enjoy it. The formula of these lipsticks is super, super creamy. Unfortunately, they've been discontinued. They were re uh, replaced by the Vice lipsticks. And I don't know if Urban Decay has either reformulated or just gotten rid of the Vice lipsticks. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you know. Then I have a lip gloss, two lip glosses. Well, I guess three, I don't know. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is, uh, what is this called? Dehydrating lip gloss stick in the color Uh Huh Honey. And this is a very metallic color. Kind of sheer. It's this one right here. It's, look at that. That, it's um, beautiful. Oh, I love it. It's so, so pretty. Um, this one, I can't roll it up because it's non-retractable. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna know like how much I have or how much progress I've made. So that's this one. Then I have one from MAC. It's a lip gloss from MAC in the color Dancing Souls, and it's a really hot pink one. I haven't used it. Uh, these lip glasses are kind of sticky, um, but it's a very bright pink fuchsia shade. I love that shade. Oh my gosh, I really, really do love it. I think it's super, super pretty. Then, last but not least, I have a NARS um rakugian satin lip pencil that's the color rakugian and that's this one it's full size i haven't even sharpened it sharpened it once 
Um, and that's the color right here. These do sharpen all the way to the bottom, so it is quite a bit of product, uh, and they're not like products that melt easily. Like there's some lip products, lip crayons that you apply and it wears off the the shape right away. This one doesn't happen. Um, so I don't know if we'll get to it, guys. I don't know. We'll see. But that it, are the colors. That are the colors. <laughs> Those are the colors that I have left. Uh, very pretty. Lots of pinks and nudes, as you guys can see. And yeah, hopefully I can get, oh gosh, if I could get three more by the end of the year, uh, three more, not, not counting these two that I have. So I guess technically five. If I can get five out, um, I'd be super, super excited and happy and proud. <laughs> so we'll see. Wish me luck. Uh, we'll see how things go by, from here to December 31st. Uh, who knows? I finished five in the last three months, so maybe it's doable. Maybe. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.